The reality is, without Moore's Law, we would never have these awesome technologies we have today. Smartphones, tablets, game consoles, 4K and HD displays, and even services like Twitter, uh, Netflix, and YouTube. None of these would be available without the industry following Moore's Law. If you look at the companies that are out there today that would not be here today if it wasn't for Moore's Law, that's $13 trillion worth of net value that would be lost. All that wealth would be gone without Moore's Law. What will we see in the next 15 years? Oh my God. <clears throat> well, I'll just paraphrase Moore's Law. It'll be faster, smaller, cheaper. Science fiction type things from 50 years ago are now reality. And you know, to think about what could happen in the future, thanks to the things that we've seen already from Moore's Law and what we will continue to see from Moore's Law are just amazing. Given that Moore's Law is probably gonna to continue to drive technology for the next 15 to 20 years, the kinds of things we're gonna see in the future are almost hard to imagine. We're gonna see even more intelligent machines, machines that can actually think. We're gonna see wearable computers we put on our heads that virtualize the world around us. We're gonna see a, a fuzzy line between what's real and what we imagine. There's been continual uh, attacks on Moore's Law since the 60s even, where, where people were saying that it wouldn't last and it wouldn't happen, but it's never died. It's, it, it's been 50 years now, which is just an amazing thing. You can't find anything in human history that's gone on that had this much of an exponential effect. I was speaking to an Uber driver and, uh, about something, and I forget what it was I said, but he responded, oh yeah, Moore's Law. And I thought, well, <laughs> our work here is done. <laughs>